Okay, here's an official health update for those who love me, all my haters, and everyone in between, uh, or anyone who hasn't been paying attention. So, uh, let's see. Everything I said was true. I was dying. Huh. And it got really bad. I got dizzy coming back from the bathroom, hit my head, and uh, luckily Stuart was here to find me draped over my wheelchair where I couldn't spell 911 or say the word emergency. Uh, he did the right thing and called the 911 and got EMS here. Uh, I was cognitively impaired because I had hit my head so hard, uh, rendering me temporarily blind through for about half a day and making me uh, deaf, causing extreme hearing loss, which I still haven't gotten back. Uh, I'm just barely hearing in my right ear, not much in my left ear. Uh, when uh, I got to the hospital, I thought it was 2012. That's how bad I hit my head. Two days later, when I started to actually hear the nurses, I thought they were speaking Spanish to me, not even English. So that shows you where uh, my brain was at. Luckily, they sent me to the best trauma ward here at Valley uh, Hospital in Las Vegas uh, because they thought I was having a stroke and they thought I was going to be brain dead. So they ran all the MRIs and the stress tests on my heart and the heart was okay, went through some stuff and a little bit of damage, but it's, it's a good heart. And my brain was firing on all levels and they were completely shocked that I had such a, uh, a, uh, a beautiful brain, as the doctor put it, uh, working the way it was because, like I said, they thought I was br gonna be brain dead and was having a stroke. Um, but I hit my head really hard. But it was a good thing because, like I said, I was actually dying. Uh, I had a urinary tract infection, which was causing a kidney, a cu acute kidney failure, and I also had acute liver failure. So I had multiple organs shutting down on the inside, uh, like I had been saying for months that it felt like. Uh, I was throwing up for two weeks straight because uh, now I have an official diagnosis of EOE. It's an esophagus issue uh, combined with uh, dietary issues uh, uh, and allergies. It's really messed up. And that too, so that uh, made me throw up for a good two weeks. I couldn't keep food down for feels like a month or longer. Um, and uh, so that caused ulcers in my stomach and in my intestines. Uh, they did a gastro while I was in there uh, and uh, took, did a biopsy. So I'm st still waiting to get results of the biopsy to find out if there's more going on down there internally, uh, which caused uh, all kinds of other stuff and pain. I have all kinds of internal damage and pain going on on top of the stuff I've been dealing with. Uh, with my nerve, pinch nerves, and my arthritis, and my neck, and my back for the last six years. But I finally have doctors on it who uh, are sending me to a variety of specialists. I expect them to find other stuff as well on top of the EOE. But now that I know I have EOE, and that is an official disability, uh, it might be the cause of me losing my voice and not being able to sing for the last six years. So... That's nice to know, too. Uh, so, yeah. So there's your update. Uh, major, major throat issues and dietary issues that uh, are hereditary and run in the family. And they can be in children as well. So who knows how long I've had this. Hmm. Uh, but there you go. There's your health update. And uh, it's going to be a long road to recovery. Uh, but there might be recovery in sight which is hopeful. Be blessed.